Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And today what I want to show is how to do a little bit of an advanced trick with embedding video into your Moodle course content pages. I have this great video here that I just found, it happens to be by this uh, wonderful chap named Rob Power and it's all about Put, uh, taking some basic steps to make your documents digitally accessible and I want to embed it into my Moodle course. Well, on this page here, I have uh, done the standard. I have taken the URL, embedded it, made the link active. And when I hit save, my video shows up and it embeds the whole video for me. The problem is that this video is actually eight minutes long and I don't want my students to watch the whole video. I just need about a minute or so of it for them where this, uh, where this fellow goes over one particular tip that I want them to try out. Well, there's a little trick that you can try using YouTube. I have a template page put up here where I can embed this. If I want to share this video, I can start it or stop it at a particular time. So in this case, I want to start my video at 2 minutes and 38 seconds in. I don't need the, the beginning part of the video. So if I actually go to the 2 minute 38 second point in the video, uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking to get just there, and I click share from here and start at, it's going to give me a custom code. Now that custom code has uh, a timestamp at the end of it of 157 seconds. So if I copy this code and I go back into uh, Moodle, I paste the code here, I overwrite my, my uh, little uh, embed stamp and I make this link active and save. Now what's gonna happen is it's going to put in a copy of the video for me but it actually starts at that two minute 37 second mark. And uh, that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to start. The problem here now is that uh, what about the rest of the video? I said that I only want them to watch about a minute or so of it. This is an eight minute video. It's going to continue on after that, uh, that few seconds is up. I actually want my video to stop at the three minute 47 second mark. So I don't want them to continue watching the rest of this. Well, there's no easy way to do this. There's a little bit of a trick to it. You need to know how to edit some HTML code, but it's not as difficult as you might think. So I have another placeholder here, and I'm going to show you how to embed that and how to make it start and stop at a custom timestamp. What I want to do is grab the embed code for this video here that I found. I click on share in YouTube. And instead of getting this link, I'm going to grab the embed code. I'll just uh, click the whole thing here, copy, and I'm going to come into my notepad here and paste that so that I can do a little bit of editing on this before I put it in. Now, I need to add some customized start and stop time, and I do that at the end of this source URL. There's a format for this, which I have found, which is question mark, start equals your number of seconds, the ampersand symbol, and equals, and the number of seconds. So I'm going to copy this code in here, paste it at the end of my source URL. Now I need to get my actual XXX equals the timestamp. I want to start at 2 minutes 38 seconds. That's 158 seconds in. So I will put 158 seconds here. I want to end this at 3 minutes 47 seconds. That's 227 seconds in. I will put 227 here instead of the X's. And now I will take this code, come back into Moodle, edit my page, and I need to switch to HTML view. If you're just seeing the one toolbar here with a few options, you need to click on this button, toggle toolbar. You'll get your uh, three ribbons. Click on this button right here, edit HTML source. Look for your placeholder. In this case, the word here, I'm just gonna delete that. Paste in my custom embed code, hit update. It has now embedded a player for me. 
I hit save changes. And now when I hit play, it will start at 2 minutes 38 and it will end at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. And it will show my students just the short little clip of a longer video that I want them to watch.